about it is that the grand jury spent an extensive amount of time here at the County Office of Education interviewing people and uh, looking deeply at all of the various services that the County Office of Education offers. And when you really look at the full scope of it, it, it is uh, quite an array of services. Um, in the student services areas, we offer programs for the children that are where it's more cost effective and efficient to be operated countywide, such as our special education for the most severely disabled, needy children, um, alternative education for children for whom K-12 schools are just not working or who are incarcerated or expelled from school, getting them back on track and into school and succeeding. Our migrant children, we have a very large population, 22% of our children are migrant, mm -hmm. and offering um, substantial programs to supplement the core curriculum for those students. So we offer, um, even operate some home charter school for parents uh, who want to work with their children at home who have various reasons for not being in school. So the student services that we operate are um, for children um, that really do need alternatives. And uh, then in addition to that, we provide the professional development and the training for our teachers. We work as a link with the State Department of Education and even at the federal level to uh, provide that, um, that extensive um, support system to interpret and to get on the cutting edge of developments and bringing in of grants and resources to our community. But one of the most fundamental responsibilities of the county office is in the area of school finance and business and ensuring that our schools are f uh, financially uh, stable and uh, that the resources, every taxpayer dollar is being used well uh, to support the educational goals which are under the authority of the local district. But we are a watchdog, so to speak, to make sure that their finances are in order and that they're not going to get into financial difficulty and doing everything we can to avert that mm -hmm. situation. Does it mean, uh, does this report mean that there's no problems in the Monterey County Office of Education? We have been in a process of upgrading our systems of operation over the past five years. Um, every system has needed to be developed and upgraded to meet the standards of 21st century operations today. Uh, heavily involved in um, uh, eliminating silos and integrating services so that they're more seamless, working more closely with our agencies. Uh, we're just adopting a new financial management system that's integrated for the county. So these are all areas that the county office is always to be on the cusp of um, working through what the latest developments are and the latest needs in the county mm -hmm. and uh, then providing the professional development and training making sense of things, bringing in the partners. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the role we have. So we're always actually in a state of improvement, of needing to do things better, uh, of being in touch with um, what, is, what we know more about, and that is always emerging. And in fact, when there's a new frontier or a new development, it's always a tough area actually to be in, uh, but it's an exciting place to be because you're bringing those new developments in and you're working with them with people. And then once a school district um, it, or a, a system is worked through and people are doing it on their own, they don't need the County Office of Education, we're on to the next area of development. So we're actually a system that's always in development and always trying to be in the forefront and making sense of things and making sure that the resources we bring into our county um, is state of the art and it's helping our districts to always be reaching the next level of their competencies. Mm -hmm.